It was one of the first surgeries of its kind ever performed on a child here in the U.S. Back in 2019, Angelica Torres had a heart loop monitor embedded in her chest. Today, she is beating everyone's expectations and is now a strong advocate for heart health. 25 News reporter Leah McNeil has the story. Should we raise it down to eight? Overall, I've had a good experience with it and it's helped me learn my body better. A device the size of a thumb drive is helping Angelica Torres do what doctors said she couldn't. They told me I'm not able to play sports. See, Torres has a medical condition called supraventricular tachycardia. SVT, which is my heart rate moves faster than a normal person. And then LVHT is the left side of my heart is weakened due to the overworking of the SVT. That device in her chest alerts doctors. So if I have a heart episode, doctors can tell from where their point is to where my point is that something's going on with my heart and they can track my readings and get further information. After three years with the heart loop monitor, there's hours of data to sift through. Symptoms are brief. They may only happen for seconds and trying to get the way that we diagnose them is having an electrical tracing of the heart when they're symptomatic and plan the next stage of her treatment. And once you have the diagnosis, the next step is treatment. And when you have that diagnosis, the treatment part is really pretty straightforward. And, and like I said, in the majority of patients, it's curative. But Torres isn't slowing down. In future time, I may be cured for my disease, but at the moment there is no cure. But it lets me know that I'm working towards a better cause. She's busy raising money and advocating for heart health. Reporting in Copperas Cove, Leah McNeil, 25 News. All right, Leah, thank you.